Should you buy the Nintendo Switch OLED? Let's find out. Welcome back to 128KB, Andy here, and if you haven't seen them already, we've got so many other videos that are in depth about the Switch OLED, including a comparison between the 2017 Switch, we've got the comparison between the Switch Lite, we've got so many other videos, including tutorials, unboxings, all this good stuff. So if you haven't seen those, check them out after this video. So yeah, should you buy the Nintendo Switch OLED model? Well, that really depends on a few things. We've got to look at it from a few different angles here. So. If you've already got a Switch, then we'll look at that. So if you've got a 2017 Switch, well then go check out our comparison video. But yes, if you've got a 2017 Switch, the launch Switch, the OG original Switch, then I think it's definitely worth the upgrade. However, only if you play a fair amount on handheld mode. So if you play tabletop mode or handheld mode and docked, then 100% it is worth the upgrade because of the improved battery life, because it's got the better processor in it, which halves the power consumption essentially. So you pretty much get about double the battery life. And obviously if you've got the original Switch and you've had it since launch, well then that battery will have degraded slightly again. So you actually get a really big improvement to battery life. The screen is so much better as well. I cannot stress enough how much better the screen is. Go and watch our comparison videos for in-depth sort of a look at that. But yes, if you play a good mixture of handheld and docked and you have the 2017 Switch, 100% just go buy the Switch OLED. However, if you have the 2017 Switch and you just play docked, well then it might not really be worth upgrading because there's no change essentially. Yes, the new dock is better. It has an ethernet port so that you can have direct internet rather than just Wi-Fi, which is unstable in comparison. However, you can buy that dock separately. So you could save a lot of money and just buy the dock and you won't really see a difference. So if you've got the 2017 switch and you just play docked, well, then it's probably not worth it for you. If you've got the 2019 switch, well, then the 2019 Switch is really similar to the OLED model because it's got the same improved processor. The battery life is going to be the same. The only difference here is the improved design physically and the improved storage increase. So it's now got 64 gigabytes of storage instead of 32 gigabytes. However, the biggest obviously upgrade is that screen, the OLED screen. So if you've got a 2019 Switch, the red box switch, and you play handheld, well then, it is a massive improvement. I know there's quite a jump there in price because you may have only just bought that switch, the red box switch. If that's the case, well then you've got to weigh up whether or not it's worth it for you. But if you play just handheld mode, I cannot stress enough how much better the improved speakers are and also the, the improved screen because that screen honestly looks amazing. No video can really truly show you how good the screen looks until you see it in person. But yeah, so if you play mainly handheld or a mixture of handheld, and docked, I still think that it's an improvement enough to warrant upgrading. And you do have to consider you're not going to outlay the entire price again for the new Switch because your current Switch you could either sell or trade in for a discount and then you're going to get pretty much half the price back and then you're only playing really, you're only paying half the price to get the brand new model. And again, the entire thing aesthetically it looks nicer, the build quality is much better, the kickstand is is amazing. The speakers are fantastic. The screen is so much better as well. You do have a bigger storage so you don't have to rush out and buy a micro SD card storage upgrade if you uh, didn't need to yet. But if you do, then we've got videos about that. So check them out as well. But yeah, so basically if you just have a 2019 Switch and you play docked, well, again, just buy the dock. Don't bother upgrading. But if you play 50-50, so half handheld, half, you know, docked or all handheld, 100% go and buy the Switch OLED. And once again, the same applies for the Switch Lite, really. If you've got a Switch Lite, well then obviously you can't play docked. So there's, there's quite a big difference here. The Switch Lite can't play docked. It's got a smaller screen all round at 5.5 inches as opposed to the seven inches on the new OLED. It's got an LCD screen rather than the OLED. The speakers aren't as good. You can't detach the Joy-Cons, you can't dock it. However, 
The Switch Lite is more portable, so it's quite a lot smaller. Christina has a in-depth comparison between the Switch OLED and the Switch Lite and how she prefers the Switch Lite. So go and check that video out because it's a bit of a different take on it, to be perfectly honest. However, we do have a Switch. So she has the benefit of being able to just play on our normal Switch or our Switch OLED on the TV. And then she has a Switch Lite for her own use, essentially. So there is that sort of difference there where the Switch Lite is a lot smaller. So it's more portable. It's gonna be easier to transport. And also if you've got smaller hands or if you're getting it for a kid, well then the Switch Lite is gonna be a bit more rugged for a child than this one, just because it's all one sort of body. It's one main body, one form factor. It's gonna take a little bit more of a beating than the Switch OLED, which is the like premium model. But the, the difference there is quite drastic. If it was me and I didn't have or if I just had a Switch Lite, I would 100% upgrade to the OLED, even if I was only planning on handheld play, but I would definitely take that sort of trade off of having a slightly larger console to have a much better immersion into my games than just having a smaller form factor. But you know, some people might have a different sort of idea. So now let's look at it as if you don't have a Switch at all. Well, then you've got to think of prices because the standard Redbox Switch, which is now the sort of standard Switch, the price has dropped since the release of the Switch OLED, so you can find that cheaper. Obviously the Switch Lite is the cheapest, then you've got the sort of red box Switch, and then you have the Switch OLED. It really depends on your sort of circumstance. If you can afford it, get the Switch OLED because it really is good. Again, if you're just gonna play docked, well then get the red box switch or if you're sort of pressed for money then maybe look at getting one of the other switches because with the money that you'll save you'll be able to buy some games or some accessories for that switch rather than just getting the switch oled and then maybe not having any games or maybe just having one game but i would say if you can if you can sort of be patient get the Switch OLED and maybe get a couple of indie games on the Switch store, which are always on sale. You can find some cracking games for quite a reduced price. You know, you're talking less than five pounds here in the UK for some really good games. I would go that route and sort of wait and save up to buy some better games because the Switch OLED is a massive improvement compared to all the other versions. Again, if you're buying this for a kid and you're watching this for some advice, get the Switch Lite unless they're just gonna be playing it docked. If they're just gonna be playing it docked, then maybe just get the red box switch, the, the non OLED version. Whereas if you're buying this for yourself, maybe you're a bit older, then I would say get the switch OLED. So it really depends on your circumstance as to which one you should get and how you're going to use it and whether or not you wanna save some money to get some accessories and some games, or if you just want the best experience possible. If you want the best experience possible, the Switch OLED is 100% the way to go. It is so much better in terms of immersion. I've had a fantastic time with it. Go and watch all our other videos where I talk more in depth about certain use cases and how I feel about the screen compared to the other versions and everything else essentially. But there we go. So should you buy the Switch OLED? Yes and no. <laughs> it depends on your own circumstance, but I would advocate that you get the Switch OLED if you can and if you're going to utilize it in handheld mode. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out our website, 128kb.co.uk. I'm Andy. I'll see you in the next one. See you later.